Should you republish or resend your video content? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock with videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And in actuality, my partner Vic uh, just recently did a video on repurposing content. And, and I don't want to walk over what he had said, but it did bring up some additional points that I don't think we necessarily think about. When you produce a piece of content, whether it be text, whether it be video, whatever it is, and you put it out there, well, it's going to whatever channels that you're sending it to. So it may be social media, it may be email, it may be your website, et cetera. So let's pick one of those channels and say uh, your newsletter as an example. So a great open rate on a newsletter is about 20%. If you're doing 20%, you're doing really, really well. Um, and then the click throughs to watch videos or read, read the blog posts or things that are uh, contained or indicated in that uh, email are um, down in the single digits, you know, three, four, five, six, seven percent, et cetera. So why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you all this because the vast majority of the people that have had the exposure or potential exposure to content that you've sent out there never saw it. They didn't get around to it. It arrived at, it, it arrived at a time that they weren't ready. Social media has an incredibly, if, if you spend any time on social media at all, you know this, social media, social media has a very short memory. So if, just because something pops up on Facebook today, if, you, if they didn't take, a, take advantage of it then, it's probably not going to be there tomorrow as far as in their news feed. As a matter of fact, a few hours from now, it probably won't be either. Same thing with emails. Came in when they were busy, they didn't have time to deal with it, it sat in their inbox or it got set, it got set aside and they may come back to it. And we've monitored enough over enough years now that I can tell you they can, may come back to it in a year or a year and a half, literally left when they're cleaning out their inbox some, some year from now, way in the future. So really you're, the chances of them having seen it are so low, there's just no reason not to redo it. Now, do you want to do it 50 times over the next month? No, of course not. You want to get it out there, though, every couple of months, maybe. Um, or if you've got, you know, really good uh, response rates and a strong and a strong audience, you might want to stretch it, stretch it out a little bit further than that. But certainly, if you did something last year, there's no reason not to put it out again. Okay, guys, real quick and easy. This is Mark with videosocials.net, phoneblogger.net. Have a great day.